Hi there! So um, today, we're going to um, discuss the um, particular solution of the difference equation. So um, our example for today is um, using um, this um, equation. Okay, so um, before we begin, you might be wondering why um, I have um, a drawing of orange here. It's because um, this orange is, um, you know, it's easier to draw compared to the previous um, fruits that I've drawn. Also, um, this orange is also um, one of the um, um, important fruits uh, nowadays because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, vitamin C is very important in our um, body, especially in helping our immune system. Also, um, you know, this video might be um, available for a um, longer of years i just wanted to time stamp the price of you know orange here in the philippines it would be 55 to um, 60 pesos i hope that um for um, years comes by it, it the price goes down so who knows after um, a decade or what okay so um without further ado Let's try to um, solve this, determine the particular solution of the difference equation. So, um, it's important to know the problem that we have an input signal of 2 um, raised to n and um, there's a condition that it should be like this. Okay, so um, first step. What would be um, the first step of our um, problem? The first step would be... Um, Let's pick orange. I love orange. Okay. So first step is in use the table. Where's the table, Jerome? Mm -hmm. Use the table for um, finding the particular format for um, the solution. Okay, so the table would be um, up. However, um, I just wanted to take note that our um, input signal would be 2 raised to n. Because um, that's an important information to find um, the format for a particular solution. Okay, so I've made a video of this, this one, but we're not of that. Okay, so um, 2 raised to n would be located here, this one. Okay, because m is the uh, constant, and then n, um, m is equal to 2 in short. Okay, so k, m, n. Let's write it down. YP. Mm -hmm. YP is KMN. Okay, so it's important. We know that. Okay. This equals to K. Um, M. N. Let's double check. You know. One of the successful um, characteristics of a successful person is um, double checking. Okay, so K M N. Okay, so um, that's our um, equation, or you could say, let's further simplify this. Okay, so to be more specific, it should be two K N. Alright, so um, that's our first step. Now, we're ready for um, the second step. Okay, so the second step would be, if you watch my previous video, you might know, guess on um, what is the second step. The second step would be, um, y of n substitute to y of p of n. So therefore, um, our function would now be y of p of n is equal to 5 over 6 y of p of n minus 1 minus 1 over 6 y of p n minus 2 plus x of n. Okay, so now let's substitute the values. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, the values for that would be k, m, n. We have those val value, right? So, um, 
okay to n okay and also um, it's important to have this use of n why because of the um this one okay is equals to um five five over six um k mm -hmm. two and then um n minus one n minus one it's important because uh, one of the common mistakes would be um this one okay mm -hmm. and then use of n minus one okay so far so good What is the value of our case of n? 2n. Okay. Now, um, so um, the third. St we're now ready for um, the third step. So what is the third step? Okay. So let's. Third step would be. Uh, I'm going to put it here. Okay. So the third step would be um, simplification, okay? Because it's kind of long, so let evalu let's evaluate at um, n is equal to two. So this is simplification. Okay. So let's evaluate at n is equal to two. So Jerome, um, does it because um the purpose of this is to um, find the value of k in our step 4 okay so will it change the um, value of our function or um, effect in any ways no because I'm um, we're finding the value of k which is constant um, which is constant so um, the n would not affect the value of k okay so when you evaluate this k k is equals to 2 raised to 2 would be 4 okay so that's one okay 2 raised to 2 would be 4 and use of 2 is 1 times 1 so i'm just going to leave it there okay 4 is equals to um 5 over 6 okay k and 2 minus 1 would be just 2 okay and then 2, 2 minus 1 here would be use of 1, which is just 1 times 1. So minus 1 over 6. So as you can see, um, because we chose 2, it is much more simplified. So this one would be just equal to 1. Okay. And also, as you can see, um, for n is equal to 2 you will have times 1 here okay so that we won't um, remove um, any value of that is um, that might affect our equation okay so plus um, 2 raised to 2 would be 4 okay and then times 1 okay so um, that's the step 3 so now we're all ready for um, the step 4. Okay. Since um, I believe uh, mostly of um, our viewers would be a future engineer or engineer, you might have a calculator that is handy. So uh, we'll just use um, the calculator or you could just um, try um, algebra in this. It's kind of pretty easy. But for the sake of simplicity of the video, um, I'm just going to um, put here the 8 over 5 so um, as a future engineer you might know how to use your calculator when you just plug it here and then the calculator will do the rest to find the value of k okay so now we're ready for um, our last steps we deserve a drum roll here okay so the five the fifth step 
would be um, substitute rise of p of a using um, this one okay so as you can see that's also what we did in our previous video so the value of k would be 8 over 5 and then 2 raised to n okay it's important to add this as what stated in the problem okay so that's our answer for uh, this one okay so now um, just to summarize what we've learned today so we know how to um, determine the particular difference equation using this fifth step table substitute um, simplification find the value of k and then using the um, formula uh, we substitute it here so now after that um, um, so that's the summary of our video and the summary of the discussion of particular solution of difference equation would be on uh, this one so as you can see um, from this one to this one so despite of the looks of the equation um, don't be discouraged because um, it's easier to deal with okay so just to just be aware of the steps okay so that's it and have fun learning digital signal processing okay bye bye and um, stay safe